Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions for data quality analyst roles, along with detailed answers. 1. How do you define data quality, and why is it crucial for organizations? Answer. Data quality refers to the accuracy, completeness, consistency, reliability, and timeliness of data. It is crucial for organizations, as high-quality data is essential for making informed decisions, ensuring compliance, and maintaining customer trust. 2. What are the key dimensions of data quality, and how do you assess them? Answer. The key dimensions of data quality include accuracy, completeness, consistency, reliability, and timeliness. Assessment involves profiling data, performing validation checks, and comparing data against predefined standards. 3. How would you identify and handle duplicate records in a dataset? Answer. Duplicate records can be identified through matching algorithms or exact matching on key fields. Handling duplicates involves deduplication techniques such as merging, discarding, or flagging duplicate records based on business rules. 4. Explain the concept of data profiling. How does it contribute to data quality analysis? Answer. Data profiling involves analyzing data to understand its structure, content, and quality. It helps identify anomalies, patterns, and outliers, providing insights for designing effective data quality checks and validation rules. 5. How do you ensure data accuracy, and what validation methods would you use? Answer. Ensuring data accuracy involves validating data against predefined rules, business logic, and reference data. Methods include cross-field validation, format checks, and comparison against authoritative sources. 6. What is the role of data cleansing in improving data quality, and can you provide examples of cleansing techniques? Answer. Data cleansing involves correcting or removing errors in data. Techniques include standardization, for example, formatting dates, correction, for example, fixing typos, and imputation, for example, filling missing values based on patterns or averages. 7. How would you handle missing data in a dataset, and what impact can missing data have on data quality? Answer. Handling missing data involves imputation techniques such as mean or median imputation. Missing data can impact analysis, introduce bias, and lead to incorrect conclusions if not addressed appropriately. 8. Explain the concept of data lineage and its relevance to data quality analysis. Answer. Data lineage maps the flow of data from its source to its destination. Understanding data lineage is crucial for tracing data quality issues back to their source. Ensuring accountability and validating transformations. 9. In a data quality assessment, how would you address outliers or anomalies in the data? Answer. Addressing outliers involves statistical analysis, identifying thresholds, and validating data against expected ranges. Outliers can be flagged, investigated, and corrected based on business rules. 10. What role does metadata play in data quality management, and how would you utilize it in your analysis? Answer. Metadata contains information about data, such as its source, structure, and transformations. Utilizing metadata helps in understanding the context of data, designing effective quality checks, and validating against data definitions. 11. How do you design and implement data quality checks in a data pipeline or ETL process? Answer. Designing data quality checks involves defining rules, profiling data, and creating validation scripts. Implementation includes integrating checks into ETL processes, scheduling regular assessments, and alerting mechanisms for anomalies. 12. Explain the concept of fuzzy matching and when it might be useful in data quality analysis. Answer. Fuzzy matching involves matching similar but not exact values. It is useful when dealing with typos, variations in naming conventions, or slight variations in data entries. 
Fuzzy matching algorithms assign similarity scores to aid in matching. 13. How would you assess and ensure data consistency across multiple databases or systems? Answer. Assessing data consistency involves comparing data values, reconciling data, and validating against predefined rules. Techniques include cross-database validation, data profiling, and ensuring referential integrity. 14. What steps would you take to establish a data quality framework within an organization? Answer. Establishing a data quality framework involves defining data quality metrics, creating governance policies, implementing data quality tools, and providing training. Regular monitoring, reporting, and continuous improvement are essential components. 15. How can you measure and report on the success of a data quality improvement initiative? Answer. Success in a data quality initiative can be measured through metrics such as reduction in error rates, improved accuracy, and increased trust in data. Reporting involves creating dashboards, trend analysis, and presenting before and after scenarios. 16. How do you collaborate with data stewards and business users to ensure data quality aligns with business requirements? Answer. Collaboration involves regular communication with data stewards and business users to understand data requirements. Define quality metrics and validate data against business rules. Feedback loops and continuous engagement are crucial. 17. Can you provide examples of data quality KPIs key performance indicators, and how would you use them to assess and improve data quality? Answer. Data quality KPIs include completeness, percentage, accuracy rate, error counts, and timeliness metrics. These KPIs help in assessing the current state of data quality, setting improvement goals, and monitoring progress. 18. How would you approach data quality testing for a new system implementation or migration project? Answer. Data quality testing involves profiling new data, validating against business rules, and ensuring data migration accuracy. Strategies include conducting parallel runs, performing data reconciliation, and collaborating with system stakeholders. 19. What is the significance of data quality rules? and how do you define and enforce them? Answer, data quality rules define standards and criteria for acceptable data. Defining rules involves collaborating with business users and data owners. Enforcement includes integrating rules into data quality checks, ETL processes, and regular monitoring. 20. How do you handle cultural and organizational challenges when implementing a data quality improvement program? Answer, Handling challenges involves effective communication, creating awareness about the benefits of data quality, and involving stakeholders in the process. Training programs, change management strategies, and showcasing success stories can help overcome resistance. 21. How would you ensure data quality in a continuously evolving data environment with frequent updates and changes? Answer. Ensuring data quality in a dynamic environment involves automating data quality checks, adapting validation rules to changes, and implementing version control for data definitions. Regular audits and proactive monitoring are key. 22. In a scenario where data quality issues are identified, how would you prioritize and remediate them? Answer. Prioritization involves assessing the impact on business processes, regulatory compliance, and decision-making. Remediation strategies include implementing quick fixes, addressing root causes, and continuous monitoring for sustained improvement. 23. Can you share your approach to handling data quality issues in real-time data streaming or IOT environments? Answer. Real-time data quality involves implementing checks at ingestion points, leveraging tools like Apache Kafka for data validation, and using anomaly detection algorithms. Continuous monitoring and automated alerting are crucial in such environments. 24. How do you ensure data quality in a distributed data architecture, such as a Hadoop ecosystem or cloud-based storage? 
Answer. Ensuring data quality in distributed architectures involves designing checks within data processing frameworks, utilizing metadata for lineage tracking, and implementing consistent validation rules across distributed nodes. Regular audits and monitoring enhance data quality. 25. Explain the role of data quality scorecards and how would you design and use them in your data quality management approach. Answer. Data quality scorecards provide a visual representation of data quality metrics. Designing scorecards involves selecting relevant KPIs, setting thresholds, and presenting them in an easily interpretable format. Scorecards aid in quick assessments and reporting. 26. How would you address data quality challenges related to data migrations or consolidations? Answer. Addressing challenges involves profiling data before migration, conducting impact assessments, and ensuring alignment with business requirements. Data validation and reconciliation checks before and after migration help identify and rectify data quality issues. 27. How do you handle data quality monitoring in a scenario where data is sourced from external partners or third-party vendors? Answer. Monitoring involves establishing service level agreements SLOS, defining data quality requirements and contracts, and implementing checks upon data ingestion. Regular audits and collaboration with partners to align on data quality standards are essential. 28. Explain the role of automation in data quality management and how would you leverage automation tools in your role? Answer. Automation plays a key role in executing repetitive data quality checks, alerting for anomalies, and ensuring timely responses. Leveraging tools like Informatica, Data Quality, Talent, or Custom Scripts can automate validation processes and enhance efficiency. 29. How would you approach data quality training for business users and data stakeholders within an organization? Answer. Training involves creating awareness about the importance of data quality, conducting workshops on data entry, best practices, and providing guidelines for data validation. Regular communication channels, such as newsletters or webinars, can reinforce training messages. 30. In a scenario where data quality issues persist despite corrective measures, how would you conduct a root cause analysis and implement a long-term solution? Answer. Root cause analysis involves collaboration with technical and business teams, reviewing data, processes, and conducting thorough assessments. Implementing a long-term solution may involve process redesign, additional validation checks, and continuous monitoring to ensure sustained improvement. In conclusion, data quality analyst interviews often focus on a candidate's ability to understand, assess, and improve the quality of data within an organization. The provided questions cover a range of topics, including data profiling, validation techniques, handling anomalies, collaboration with stakeholders, and implementing data quality frameworks. Strong candidates showcase a deep understanding of data quality dimensions, practical experience with tools and methodologies, and effective communication skills for collaboration with business users and data stewards. Emphasizing the importance of data quality metrics, continuous monitoring, and a proactive approach to addressing issues is essential for success in this role. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. 
For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.